is up guys, 806 English and welcome back to another video. And you're probably just thinking, why the heck was I just staring at that door? Well, here recently, I went to Instagram and uh, I wanted to do this video idea and I did a poll and I said, would you guys like to see a tackle room tour video? And uh, I believe 58% of you guys said yes. So uh, majority wins, so I'm gonna film this video. I didn't really know if you guys would find it interesting or not, that's why I went to Instagram and did a poll. Anyways guys, here pretty soon I'm gonna be doing more video suggestion ideas for Instagram polls. That way you guys can choose what kind of videos you'd like to see on this channel. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll leave it right here, right here, right here, wherever it's at, popping up somewhere. And then I'm also gonna leave it in the description down below. So make sure you follow me, that way you can pick my Instagram poll videos. Anyways guys, enough talking, and let's go ahead and get into this video. Their work complete, are headed back to the lab. Testing, one, two, First enter the room you'll see the tank it's dirty and uh, I will be cleaning it probably after this video I did not have time to clean that fish tank because I went out of town and then when I got back to town um, your boy was kind of feeling sick so I really just didn't have time and uh, so that both tanks will be actually clean because both are kind of dirty but both tanks especially this one will be clean today after this video right there I got some old toys that I used to play with when I was a lot younger and uh, I'm not going to be getting into that kind of stuff. We have my air, uh, my air gun hunting bag, and I do air gun hunting. Uh, so if you guys would like to see those, I'm also going to be doing a poll on Instagram about air gun hunting. So make sure you follow me on Instagram about that. All right, so back here we have the rod section, one of my favorite sections. Um, so basically, I have this rigged up um, to specific rods. Um, on this side only, I have nothing but catfish, uh, trout, walleye, um, panfish slash crappie rod and uh, carp rod, I think I said catfish too. And then on this side, we have nothing but bass. Um, so right here we only have four bass rods and that is basically my spinning rod. This used to be my trout um, spinning rod but uh, it eventually became not the best for trout. Uh, so I switched it to a bass rod, I'll get into that later. Then I got my bait casters right there, right there. We got none but the spinning rods. Some are for catfish, some are for trout, some are for walleye. And that big old bait caster right there, that's for catfish. So you, you've seen me use that one before. Try not to get into it and go super into depth and show you like literally everything. Like with the rods, I just talked about them for a little bit. But when I get to the tackle box and stuff, I'm going to try the best I can to not actually open them and start showing you guys because I'll get a little carried away. We have extra rods. This is my Slab Daddy 10 foot crappie rod. It's a freaking huge rod for crappie, but... Trust me guys, it is freaking fun to catch crappie on. Also guys, if I do sound a little bit weird, um, like I said, I just got done being sick, so I, I might sound a little weird. Uh, so just bear with me a little bit. Right there we got my trout bait cast rod, my sister's push button rod, and uh, we also have the spinning rod that I caught that two pound bass off of in Canyon. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll leave it linked down below. Behind me you can see my desk right there, and it's got a bunch of crap on there. I need to, I need to really clean it off here pretty soon. But uh, this is the desk that I film at and then I use this lamp to get better lighting and stuff like that um, and there's the background we'll talk about that all that stuff later but yeah here's the desk that I uh, that I film videos on and stuff like that little Gatorade bottle I need to drink that and then I got some raid bug spray uh, don't know why I actually have that in there got a random leather glove right here as you can see I got some soft plastic here this is actually going to be a challenge and uh, with Jake at the lake here pretty soon. So if you guys want to get a, a free shout out and you guess what the next challenge will be, uh, you will get a shout out of your choosing on YouTube, Fishbrain, or Instagram. Here's a hint. This bait is weird. It's got a weird color. So let me know in the comments below what you think and you'll get a shout out. So yeah, I got my scale here. Um, I got my pliers here. The reason why I keep these two things chilling here uh, is because 
sometimes I'll leave them. Like, let's say I just recently went trout fishing, and I will forget to take them out of the bag. And then, let's say I want to go bass fishing next, and I leave them in the trout bag, but I forget to put them back in the bass bag because I might need those. That's why I keep those there. Got a, a knife here. And then right here, I got a spool of Seeger Red Label, some of my most favorite uh, fluorocarbon. The Red Label series is the cheapest fluorocarbon you could probably get. And uh, I really recommend it. Seeger has great fluorocarbon. It, it's empty now, but uh, I need to be getting some more uh, fluorocarbon here pretty soon. Yeah, I need to get some more of that stuff. I got random stuff in these drawers. I got a bunch of like soft plastic bags that I could reuse. <coughs> I got a charging wire for my phone. Or a charging cable for my phone. And all these drawers I have miscellaneous fishing stuff. And this one, I have all my dividers for my tackle boxes. Keep them in a bag. The most organized drawer, I have a bunch of lures, old lures, old hooks, everything, markers, whatever you can find in here. I really need to fix that up. Alright, so here's the back. Probably the most interesting part of this video for a bunch of you guys. Um, the, the back of this section right here. So we're going to be talking about this stuff in the background real quick. Um, if some of you guys are probably interested in that, but uh, right here we have Ralph the Bass, and I actually got him in Utah, and uh, so that's why I put him back here just for decorations right there. We have a pinata catfish, and then right there we got Billy the Bass. This guy right here used to be called Billy the Bass, but then I realized this guy was called Billy the Bass, so I was like, eh, I don't want to have two Billy the Basses, so I gave him a different name. And then right there we have, oh, right there we have a nine point buck. I did not shoot him, my cousin gave me that, so I just added it for decoration We're here really recently. And then right here we have a antique fishing rod, and uh, I might do a challenge with that here later on, so keep an eye out for that. Let's go ahead and talk about this stuff right here. This stuff, mostly have a bunch of like rod kind of stuff or extra um, equipment kind of stuff right here. I got three baycast reels. Now this one is an antique, uh, I think it's a Banta Mag, a Shimano Banta Mag, I believe. Yeah, it's a Shimano Bantam mag. Really old reel. I spooled it with the line itself. It's not original line. I'm going to be doing a challenge with that too. And then right here, I got a, I believe it's a Bass Pro Shops. It's an older Bass Pro Shops fishing reel. I'll either, use, I won't use this all the time, but I'll switch it. Uh, I'll probably use this uh, if I get like a jerkbait combo or something. I'll probably use that for that. Right here, I got another Bass Fishing uh, bait cast reel and it's got 20 pound test line on here this reel is probably going to be used not for the thickest thickest stuff but just you know when i'm fishing into some light brush trees and stuff like that it, it helps to have 20 pound test in those situations right here we got some rod socks this one's for spinning rod and then this these two black ones are for baycast reels or baycast rods and then back there i got a gander mountain vortex 100 uh reel box and uh, right here, we actually got a sign that says 806 Anglers Away. So it's basically like a street sign. Uh, at my college, they were having these kind of like press things, like iron press kind of. I don't know how you explain those or what they're called. But it's a metal sign. I don't know if I can hear that. Oh, crap. They ask you what you want on it. And I was like, I'm going to put 806 Anglers on it. That way, I could put it in the man cave. I'm probably going to end up hanging it on this. So I thought it would be a cool addition for the man cave. And right there we got a thermometer with a big old chunky bass. It actually works. Look at that. Right here we skipped this stuff, but this is my right hand retrieve uh, reel cover. And this one's for my crankbait reel. I only use right hand retrieve reels for uh, crankbaits only because all you have to do is literally swipe. You don't actually have to set the hook. Right here is my reel cleaning kit. It's an awesome reel cleaning kit. I'll, I'm actually going to open up and just show you guys what's all in here. And here we got like some... This stuff, you basically spray it on there and it gets the gunk off of there. And then you got a cloth, you got some real butter, and then you got some oil, some bearing lube. Or that's oil, that's bearing lube. And then you got some grease. And then you got like a, a toothbrush at the top that I don't really use for reels that much. I usually just use those Q-tips. And then right here we got some catfish connector for catfishing. And then we got some line. Some braided line and some mono, and then we got some uh, those Q-tips that I use in the Cast King Reel Box. If you ever wondered what that box right there is, it's uh, my fishing care package box. If you have not seen that video where I got a fishing care package and I unboxed it, it'll be linked down below for you guys to check out. Right here, I'm gonna I'll be usually having some baits hanging off to the side. Right there, I got a pre-rigged drop shot that I'll use, 
Then I got some spinner baits right there. I guess this is an Alabama rig. It only has one hook on it, but it's got a bunch of like little, uh, little spinner thingies on it. And uh, I'll probably use this whenever the the white bass or the bass in general are schooling up. I sh I'm probably I should probably be using this right now. As a matter of fact, this is a good time for that. Down here we have nothing but like just miniature tack mini mini tackle boxes, and uh, I got my uh, my spooling box. I put my lines in there. I got some other little tackle boxes and stuff like that down there. Right here, I basically have my uh, cleaning kits for the tanks so I can clean the tanks and stuff like that. Down here, uh, these two sides right here are mine. And then this side is not mine. That's Adolfo's stuff. He left it here from the last time we went fishing, which was a while ago. But I don't mind keeping it here. Right here, I have nothing but my bass stuff and nothing but like crappie fishing, walleye fishing, catfishing stuff. And the reason why I do that is because if I'm going specifically bass fishing, I can just get my stuff and go. And then if I'm going whatever fishing, I can find it and go. That way they're not all mixed together and stuff like that. So I know where every single box is. Got my crappie box, got trout box, uh, my three walleye boxes. And I think this trout box should be up here with the other trout box. Um, I don't know why it's down there, but yeah. Right here, I'm basically just going to show you all my tackle boxes I have. Right here is my untapped fishing um, blade bait box. Now these guys hit me up randomly on Instagram and they're like, Hey, we'll give you a 50% off code. If you want to use our tackle boxes, it comes with, um, some bladed baits and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that because I'm about to go ice fishing. So I was like, yeah, sure. I'll take it. Um, I'm going to leave them linked down in the description. If you guys want to check them out, I'm not being paid and I'm not partnered with them for shouting them out or anything. I just think it's cool that they randomly hit me up. I didn't have to reach out to them. They randomly hit me up, DM'd me on Instagram and said, hey, would you like a 50% off code to try out our tackle box? And these are the baits that come in there. I'll show you this box only. That way you know what I'm talking about, these these bladed baits. These right here, I use these uh, around this time for bass. I use these for crappie, for white bass, for trout. Right here we got my terminal tackle box. My crankbait box or hardbait box, whatever you want to call it, got all my crankbaits in there as you can see, top water, stuff like that. Right here I got my jigs, spinner baits, and those two boxes are empty. Like I was saying earlier, if you want to see how I set up my tackle boxes and all my baits and stuff in there, let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to be doing a Instagram poll video idea about that too on Instagram, so if you guys want to vote on that, link to my Instagram in the description. Continuing, as you can tell, we have the crappie box, all my crappie stuff in there. My trout box. My walleye box. My other walleye box. My third and final and biggest walleye box. My catfishing box. My other trout box. Alright, so right here in these drawers, I have all my soft plastics in there, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in there, and uh, let's open up these drawers. Alright, so let's open up the first box, and as you can tell, I got a whole gallon size bag filled with soft plastics in this one. And this one right here, I have nothing but craws, beavers, uh, creature baits, and um, baby brush hogs. Uh, right there, as you can tell, we have baby brush hog in the June bug color. Down here we have Ultra Vibe Speed Craws in the pump, green pumpkin color. As you can tell, I absolutely love Zoom. And uh, I really love the Ultra Vibe Speed Craws. I have like four packs of these in here. Uh, I also have some soft plastic frogs. I don't fish with much of those. There's some more craws right there. But uh, I'm not going to show you exactly all I have in here. Alright, next drawer is the Finesse Worm. Oh, right here we have uh, my jig trailers for jigs, spinner baits. Uh, mostly jigs and stuff like that. So that's my little trailer uh, bag. And now onto the finesse worms. These are just basically like straight tail worms, tapered tail worms, whatever, finesse worms, um, trick worms, stuff like that. In this compartment, we have my lizards. I need to get more of those guys because I definitely will be using them a ton this summer. Um, I just found out, well, I've been knowing that at the lake I love to fish, they love these... Uh, they love lizards, so that's why I need to be getting more of those and stock up on lizards because I love those and craws and stuff. Right here, we got a bag of swim baits. Right there, we got a Z-Man Minnow Z. And then we got some pre-rigged 
uh, little power bait swimming shads and stuff like that and I got the bigger size and I got the really small size none but swim baits in here down here we got curl tail worms I don't really use curl tail worms all that much uh, but once again I need to suck up and stock up on these two so I'll be throwing some Carolina rigs over the summer and spring right here boom we got the Senko bag got a ton of Senkos in here all that kind of good stuff all right guys so that is going to be it for the video hope you guys enjoyed this awesome little uh, tackle tool room i went to instagram and i did a little I, I thought of this video idea but i was like i don't know if you guys are really going to like it so i went to instagram did a poll and you guys really killed it on the poll if you guys want to see more video ideas um and polls like that um make sure you follow me on instagram it'll be linked down below make sure you check it out so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this video comment something down below your feedback is greatly appreciated, and uh, I really like it when you guys comment something down below and tell me what you think of the video or um, any kind of fish tips or asking me questions about something. So uh, don't be scared. Say something down below, and uh, I'll reply back. Make sure you hit the like button on this video, and make sure if you guys are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification because if you don't hit the bell notification, um, YouTube will not send you a notification that I posted a video. So if you hit the bell notification, it will immediately notify you when I post a video. If you're on a computer, make sure you bookmark the page or however it is you do that. I'm pretty sure that's what you do. But anyways, guys, once again, this is 806 Anglers, and we'll see you on the next one. Tight lines, guys.